It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Baltimore Ravens, and it's all up next. Welcome to Baltimore's Inner Harbor. 70,000 plus have filled M&T Bank Stadium since 1998, the home of the Ravens. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this is one that the defensive coordinators have had a long week because these quarterbacks, you can prepare and prepare for them, but because of their legs, you never know what they're going to do. Yeah, when the play breaks down, I think that's where the real fun begins. I mean, it is just so hard. You mentioned it. These defensive coordinators, they spend all week, and every time the ball is snapped, you really have to defend two plays. And what I mean is you defend the initial play that is called by the offense in the huddle, and then you also have to defend the scramble play, the breakdown, the improv. That's what makes these quarterbacks so dangerous, and it just takes one breakdown defensively for a big play, and it's six. The perennial pro bowler, Justin Tucker, has it on the tee. And off we go, here in Baltimore. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Eagles led out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him to make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. This is someone who just seems like every year they just get better and better, Mike, right? I mean, think back, whether it was Alabama to Oklahoma to being a Heisman finalist, going from a backup role to MVP candidate. His development has been fun to watch. And now he's universally considered one of the best all-round quarterbacks in the league. And if they want to leave here with a win, they're going to need him to be just that. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. We tend to make NFL offense very complicated, Mike, but sometimes it's as simple as this. Get the ball into the hands of your playmakers and just let them do the rest. A good spot here, second and a yard. Hurts will work here from the pistol. A pass caught by Saquon. And he's taken down, but just shy of midfield. That's already two catches for this guy. We haven't even seen him hand the ball to him yet, and that's really what these running backs have become in the league. They're really just all-round weapons, and if the ground game's not working, you can go to the air, and vice versa. The more times this guy touches the ball, the better it is for this offense. On first down, it's Hurts. He's got the 2021 Heisman winner. That's Devontae Smith. Here's second and two. Now a man who made the move inside the division. It's Saquon Barkley. And that one going to be closed down in the backfield. Great defensive play. Knifing in and dropping him for a loss. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, they'll call on Braden Mann to punt. Tylen Wallace deep for Baltimore. Oh, not the greatest punt there. This is going to hit and go out of bounds. The Ravens led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, Lamar Jackson, already season seven. Greg, he's won a couple of MVPs, and he's as talented as we see in the league. The coaches spend all week, Mike, drafting up their opening script. These are the plays that they feel the best with to not only attack the defense early, but try to get an idea of what sort of matchups they're going to see throughout the course of the game. Now, 
All of that is thrown out the window. None of the plays take into account snapping it this close to your own goal line. They've got to try to get themselves some breathing room. Pick up a first down or two. The rush gets there. He goes down back inside the five-yard line. So you spend all week, Mike, working on what they call the opening script. It's the plays that you love the most and you want to get called early. The problem? None of those plays account for being called inside your own five-yard line. But that's exactly where they find themselves after that sack. And that's a disastrous start. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. They run with the longtime Titan. It's Derrick Henry. He'll take this ahead. It's a pickup of three. The rookie, Quinion Mitchell, up to make the play defensively. It is third and ten. On play action, here's Jackson. He's got his tight end. That's Andrew. A big connection to flip the field as they get across midfield on that one. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Off the play fake. Jackson. To the tight end, likely. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. They'll come up on a second down and eight. On the option, they give it to Henry. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. the shotgun here's Jackson and that is incomplete Zay Flowers the intended receiver and that's gonna lead to a fourth down you just can't say enough about how hard it is to play cornerback in today's modern NFL Mike I mean not only are these wide receivers better than ever but the way the rules are written you're really out there on an island with not a lot of options your technique has to be perfect. Your timing has to be perfect. It's exactly what we saw here, and he makes a great play on the ball. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So 3-0 our score, and we are set for the dynamic kickoff. This is fielded inside the five. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Eagles offense ready now for their second drive. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Now 
Man in motion is Smith. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Set to go now on first and 10. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. A pistol snap back to Hurts. Now quick throw taken in by Brown. Still on his feet. And he will score. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession, too. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles move out to a 7-3 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Tylen Wallace now on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense ready for their second possession. A trail by four, a touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. They'll motion over Flowers. Jackson now to throw on first down. That's complete to the veteran, Nelson Aguilar. A gain of 14. Good for a quick first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And... This is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. Now whistles. Play clock at zero, and that'll cost them five. From the gun, Jackson. That's to the right side. He's got Andrews. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. We are through one. It's the Eagles with the early advantage. We'll be back in Baltimore after this. They'll come up here first 
and 10. Here's a give, heading right, it's Henry. And a short gain there, down only to the 48. Here's second and nine. Aguilar goes off in motion. He'll go again here with Henry. And he's not going to get away. They'll knock him back to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Third and long for Jackson. And that is incomplete. Deontay Johnson, the intended target there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. This offense has to find a way to be better on first and second down, Mike. Living in these third and long situations, must pass, is not a recipe that their offensive coordinator wants to operate in. And this will not turn out to be a good return. Forced backwards, and they get it out of bounds. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. On the ground, it's Barkley to start the drive. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. A second down throw for Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. On third down, here's Hurts. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. You just can't ask for better protection than that, especially on third down. Clean pocket, tons of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. And at this level, if you give quarterbacks that amount of time, chances are they're going to find somebody downfield. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll run straight ahead with Barkley. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's second and six. From the shotgun, it hurts. That'll be taken in by Barkley. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Hurts. That's taken in by Dotson. That's his first reception of the ballgame, and it really comes at a good time as they get the conversion on third down. Anytime you're facing a zone defense, you're working from your first progression all the way through. But when guys are open in this level, Mike, they don't stay open very long. So what they taught us as receivers, if you're open, stay open. And if you're not open, 
You better get open quick because that ball is coming out. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Hurts going to fire this one out to Smith. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. Converted twice on third down already on this drive. Now can they do it for a third time? Hurts again. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. So here's the Baltimore offense getting set for their next drive. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Jackson. That's caught. Derrick Henry. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. What an advantage it brings a defense when you have cornerbacks that are such willing tacklers. It just brings an extra element to the ability to defend the entire field. And this is a great example here why. Jackson now on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Rashad Bateman the intended target. And it's going to be third down. It's the tight end likely in motion. On third down, Jackson. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by the Kobe D. I would love to see his weapons do a better job, Mike, especially in the middle of the field, getting open in these zones. I just feel like there's been tight coverage, a lot of little windows to throw through. And yes, anytime you turn the ball over, it's on the quarterback, but the rest of this supporting unit needs to do a better job helping him. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They've got the lead, and they'll set forth trying to build on it. They're going to do that with excellent field position. Here's first and ten. Hertz will work here from the pistol. Quick throw here is complete. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. Now Hurts. Good decision to take off. He gets 15 yards and a first down. This is a part of the field where you have to account for the quarterback as a runner. Nothing's open downfield. Great job by your secondary. But then he makes a break for the goal line and they're able to stop him just short, but not until after he sets his guys up first and goal. Here's Hurts. 
That is caught. What a job on the scramble. Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles. Greg, they take advantage of the good field position and move it downfield for the score. When you take the field as an offense, there's a little added confidence boost, Mike, when you see yourself this close to the end zone. You get into the huddle, you're anxious to see what the next couple plays are. They're able to take advantage and end up punching it in. Elliott on now for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Eagles extend their advantage to 14 to 3. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Justice Hill to return. Now an opening past the 30. He gets free to the 20. And he's going to take this all the way back. 94 yards. Touchdown, Baltimore. You talk about a response after the offense goes down the field and gets a touchdown. The special teams unit comes back to get the six right back for the other side. And I've been there, Mike. You find yourself on offense. You watch your opponent go down and get a touchdown. And you're saying amongst each other, you're saying, hey, we're going to get the ball back. Let's go get one of our own. But in this case, the return unit says, no, no, offense, you stay on the sideline. We got this. And they go back and get a score of their own. Tucker's extra point, up and good. And the Ravens are back within four. It is 14 to 10. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. That's A.J. Brown and the rest of the Eagles offense set to take over once more. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender at him, maybe. Look at what he's done. Whatever the defense has tried in the first half, it hasn't worked. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Hertz working in the pistol. Quickly to the outside and complete. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Here's a second and six. To throw is Hurts. He keeps it himself. So the Eagles will use their first time out here as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The backfield empty here for third and two. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And this ball incomplete on third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. 
Here's Braden Mann now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And he's going to be hit and dropped right away. That's great coverage there. Winds up with nothing on the return. The Ravens offense going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They'll start out first down and 10. From the shotgun, here's Jackson. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Now Jackson. Right back to Andrews. He's got another one. And a good job rallying to the football. Hold him just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Jackson. And that is incomplete. I think at some point for this quarterback, he has to start looking some other directions. I mean, he's tried to get the ball now to this guy multiple times, and all of them have resulted in incomplete passes. I'm not saying don't throw it to him in the future, but maybe get yourself a couple easy completions elsewhere before you look back in his direction. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts getting set for their next possession. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and ten. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he has stopped in his tracks. Loss of a couple on the play. So we've hit halftime, and it's the visitors, the Eagles, out on top as we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. The second half, straight ahead. Time to get back to it. And for the call, let's rejoin Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half coming up pretty interesting first half we'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway and he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They'll begin with first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Henry. And that'll be a pickup of three. Yeah. 
They face second down and seven. Aguilar goes off in motion. And a nice defensive play there coming through to make the play in the backfield. They need eight as they come up for third down. It's the tight end likely in motion. And some problems communicating on third down, and that's going to be a delay. So, after the five yards are walked off, they face third and long. Now it's Jackson. Throw to the right flat. It is caught. Even though they gave up that last completion, Mike, that's a really good drive there for this defense. I mean, from the beginning, on those early downs, keeping them from staying ahead of the chains, put them in a tough third down situation, and now it brings up fourth down, and... Looks like they're going to get off the field. Ravens sending the punt team out there. To Gene to return it. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Eagles offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position, instrumental in leading and executing, and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. First and 10. A shotgun snap now to Hertz. That's a short one. Caught by Goddard. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. And he'll go right back to Goddard. He's got it again. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Back-to-back, -back, gains of 10 yards, and back-to-back -back first downs. Again, Hurts. Over the middle to his tight end, Goddard. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. And the back judge throws the flag he looks at the ball looks at the clock clock says zero that's a delay a game Hertz will try it again a pass caught by Saquon all right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. 
Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. He'll try again here. Second and ten. To the air again. Hurts. The open receiver is Dotson. And the Eagles are going to be set up. First and goal coming up. They'll mark them down at the six-yard line. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. From the shotgun, it hurts. To the goal line and in. Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Elliott now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Eagles are out to a 21-10 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. This returnable for Wallace. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Ravens offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They'll look to make some inroads here. They're down 21 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down. Aguilar goes off in motion. On first down, they'll start the drive with Henry. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Slot receiver headed right. One man missed, but that's all. They get him. Take him down behind the line. Third and long. From the gun, Jackson. A deep shot for Aguilar. That's caught! And they're going to have this all the way down inside the 30-yard line. They really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch, Mike, and just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Aguilar goes off in motion. Look wide. Get this one complete. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. To the air one more time with Jackson. 
He's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not and be taken down there. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Now, Jackson. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. And the Eagles will take over here just shy of the 30. So three quarters have come and gone. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Hurts to the air on first down. This one is caught by Dotson. Ben in motion is Brown. Here's a third down and four. Hertz will work here from the pistol. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. And he'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. Back out is the reigning MVP of the league, Lamar Jackson, and the rest of this Baltimore offense. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice forced into a number of bad throws and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. From the 25, they'll go to work first and 10. It's a zone read, and Jackson's going to keep it. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down, a pickup of nine. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. A good spot here, second and a yard. The motion man is Johnson. On play action, here's Jackson. A deep shot for Aguilar. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him and will bring up third down. Can't exactly put my finger on it, but it just seems like this entire game, like this passing game and this quarterback specifically, they've just been off. And whether it's missing these big shots downfield like he did there, or just simple underneath layups. There's just something about him today that doesn't look right, and I think it's a big part of the reason they find themselves trailing here in the fourth quarter. Just feels like this has been the story of the day for this offense, just unable to get anything going on the ground, and a big reason they find themselves trailing, and another loss of yards.
Ravens bring their punt team out as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Eagles offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. From the 35, it's first and 10. He'll start on the ground with Barkley. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. Two-possession lead, fourth quarter. This is the time, Mike, when you really can rely heavily on your run game. Everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it, including the defense. They just can't come up with an answer to stopping. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Quick slant into the hands of Smith. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. Look them up on a second down and eight. Now Hurts. That's to the sideline and hauled in by Smith. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page, and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here's third and two. Hurts again. Here's a shot toward the end zone. The crowd does not agree with that call. Booze ring out. Doesn't matter. Not going to change it. It's a first down. That is caught. What a job to keep the play alive. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but... It's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. On is Elliott to add the extra point. His kick is good, and the Eagles will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Here comes Hill on the return. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The home team's offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. The motion man is Johnson. 
On first and ten, Jackson. A pass pulled in by Henry. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Jackson now on second down. There's a short one caught by Andrews. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. He'll look underneath for Henry, and he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. In motion comes Andrews. Again, it's Jackson. There's the veteran tight end, Andrews. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal one of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the nfl mike is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible and sometimes it's by design sometimes it's based on need but really nice job there by the quarterback and he gets out wide he'll go to the end zone lamar jackson touchdown raven the defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Tucker, good on the extra point. And the Ravens are able to cut the deficit. It's now 28-17. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this, score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. The visitors' offense ready to get back to work. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. Oh. 
Here's Barkley. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. Now the Ravens use their first timeout. As they'll get it with still a minute 20 left to go in the game. They'll work now on second and four. Here's the former Memphis Tiger, Kenneth Gainwell. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Now a timeout here by Baltimore. That's going to be their second. They'll talk things over before third down. This will not do the trick. They've stopped him behind the line. Fourth down coming up. Here comes the Eagles punt team. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The home team's offense ready to take over once again. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Open man is Johnson. He's got him. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They come up for second and two. From the shotgun, here's Jackson. That is left side and caught by Flowers. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Jackson up top again. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. So it's a win here for the visiting Eagles. And right away, you can point to the turnover battle. Always key. Tells the story so often. It did here again today. Their offense didn't turn it over at all. They finished on the plus side with the takeaways. And as a result, they're going to come away with the victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.